I'm Sue Alsbaugh. I work for the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services in the Conehead Termite Eradication Program. We are here in Broward County because an exotic species of termite has shown up and we are attempting to eradicate it from Broward County before it spreads to the rest of Florida or to the rest of the United States. The conehead termites always travel in a tunnel that they construct. This is an example of what a tunnel looks like that residents should be aware of. They always move for protection purposes in these tunnels and they move from the nest to the feeding site back and forth in a constructed tunnel. So anytime a resident sees anything like this on their property, they should call us to let us know that they potentially have a conehead termite infestation on their property. If I come out and identify that there is a conehead termite infestation, we will come out and treat in the landscape outside of a home at no charge. The conehead termite has a very broad food preference. They will eat anything made of wood. They like houses, they like pallets, wood that's stored in people's property, sheds, they love trees, anything made of wood. They will even eat cardboard or paper products if nothing else is available to them. So anything you have stored in your yard or in your house that's, that's made of wood is a potential place for a conehead to infest and feed. And what they do is they build a nest away from their feeding source, build the tunnels that they walk to the feeding source and they take the food from the foraging area back to the nest all day long, back and forth. One of the characteristics of the conehead termite that makes it even more of a voracious pest is that they have multiple kings and queens in almost every single nest. One of the nests that we found had 25 queens and 28 kings in one nest. Therefore, one of those queens and one of those kings can pair up, walk away from that nest to a different piece of wood, to a different tree, to an adjacent house, and set up a whole new colony. The conehead termite has several different forms in its colony. It has the queen, it has a king, it has workers and it has soldiers. The reason it is called a conehead termite is that the soldier form of this termite has a dark brown cone-shaped head. They're very tiny, about the size of a grain of rice, if not a little smaller. My primary and most important role in the conehead termite is to eliminate conehead termites from Broward County so they do not expand into the rest of Florida or throughout the United States. It is very important that the residents assist us. All of the properties on this map that are colored blue were in the early infestation area. From 2001 to 2010, this is where they were finding the live conehead termites and doing treatments. Now in 2012, we found whole new areas, as you'll see, they are the properties in yellow, and it shows you the potential for this conehead termite to spread. The Department of Agriculture has been very thankful to the city of Dania Beach for their assistance in educating the residents on what to look for and notifying us when they receive a call regarding the conehead termites. We are greatly appreciative for their help.